my beautiful home in Atlanta, Georgia. And today, you're watching Cooking with Jordan Ramsley featuring me, Mary Fieri. And we're going to make a holiday feast. The holidays are when family come around to get together and spend time and I'm so excited because my two new boys, my wonderful sons, are coming to see me and I just have to make the perfect feast for them. And of course, there must be drinks. We're going to make my famous homemade eggnog with a little kick in it, if you know what I mean. So we need milk, we need eggs, and my secret ingredient. Now, you have to make sure you get the portions correctly. If you don't, it will not work. Go straight into the pitcher. Two cups of milk, must be creamy. Perfect. And then two eggs. You must whisk them thoroughly before putting them into the eggnog. Straight in. Ah. Good sound in eggnog. And then my secret. Shh. Two shots. And then a little for me. Ah. Mix it all together. And put it in the fridge and keep it cool until the rest of the meal is ready. Oh, you're just so adorable. You're such a sweet boy. I love what we're making here. You call this latke? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm so excited to try it. You're just the sweetest little boy. Oh, he's just so adorable. Mama, oh, your, your ham. What? Your, your pocket ham. No, get that away. Get that away. You, you can make the fruitcake later. Get away. I'm just cooking with this lovely boy. We're making latkes. Mmm, looks so good. It smells fantastic. And then we have to add in what? We add in some flour. Yes, let's add that in. Oh, and we need to uh, we need to fry it in a shallow pan. Why don't you go ahead and get that oil, little boy? You're just the sweetest. Yes, yes. Make sure that's all ready. Ah, yes. I'm just mixing it all up. I put the flour in. Oh, here we go. Yes. And you want to make sure that you drop it in circles, you said. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're going to, yes, that's perfect. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Keep the oil nice and hot. Oh, that's fantastic. Drop that in the oven for me. You're going to put it on for 350 for four hours. And then while that's cooking, we're going to work on the main piece, the ham sticking with a kosher theme for my wonderful new assistant that I have. All right, uh, I guess I have to make the fruitcake. So like, I guess anything else, you just use a little bit of flour. Put a little water in it. Take an egg, I don't know. Then, you have to make sure you put your fruit in it. I don't know, I found these jelly beans. I guess this will work. And I got some fruit sliced candy. Those in there too. And you just kind of Pour it in the pan and you put it in the oven and you cook it. 
Now for our piece de resistance. No holiday meal can be without a beautiful ham. Fantastic. Mama Ramsey, where did you get this ham? It's Mama Fieri, and you don't need to worry about it. I want that one. We must season our ham before putting it in the oven. Now I have a special way of doing it. We will need pineapples, brown sugar, and my special sauce. We're just going to cut up a couple more pineapples. We're going to put these on the outside of the ham. Put a little bit of brown sugar. We're just going to rub it all over the ham. Get it into your hands, just mush it all in there. And then to help keep it nice and moist, we want a moist ham. A little bit of our secret sauce right over. Yes, just a little bit, not much at all. And then a little bit for yourself. Slow it down. Ah, refreshing. And then our pineapples go right on top. You wanna cover the whole ham before you put it in the oven. And be careful, you don't hurt yourself after you've had a little bit of your sauce as well. Your special secret sauce. Ah, beautiful. Goes right in the oven for 200 degrees for three and a half hours. Ah, and now the ham. I had a good day with you. You're such a sweet boy. Where, where am I gonna sit? At the kitty table. <sighs> I didn't even wanna fucking be here. And from our family to yours, happy holidays. Dig in. I'm Jordan Ramsley. Join us next time we make a beef welling. Join us next time we make a beef well. Join us next time we make a beef well.